Well, good evening everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm going to make a, a couple of vlogs, uh, slightly different to what I normally do. Uh, I was talking to a guy yesterday uh, in a bar and um, he's just came to Thailand. He is a um, motorcyclist and he's rented a scooter and uh, as most people do here everyone's got scooters it's the main form of uh, transport and um, he's saying to me how different it is to ride in a motorbike well obviously yes it is it's uh, not so powerful but uh, the features are similar and the dangers are the same um, so I thought I'd make a couple of videos of just uh, a beginner's guide to riding a scooter. Uh, before we start doing that, let's have a quick look. I'm down on the beach at sunset. There's plenty of people down here watching the sunset, having a sunset beer. So, uh, so um, let's get into it. You may first say well what mate, gives you the authority or um, the qualifications for you to tell me how to ride a bike well re resume of my experience I've had a motorbike license for over 40 years I uh, got uh, my advanced motorcycling certificate and I'm also with the IAM the Institute of Advanced Motorcyclists and an observer which brings motorcyclists raises their performance to advanced levels uh, so they can take their test. So I think I'm more than um, capable of uh, doing this little talk. So let's get into it. Right, this is my bike. Um, this is my personal bike. I, it's not hired. I bought this um, last year here. It's a Honda ADV 150. That's all you need. Um, in the traffic around here um, it does me very well and uh, it gets me around so it's my daily ride most people when they come to Thailand will hire a motorcycle or a scooter to get around from A to B it is the um, the vehicle of choice and it's very um, suitable to get from A to B in and out the, uh, the Thailand traffic. Now when you get the scooter, um, I'm not going to go, this is a bit of a beginner's guide but uh, let's just uh, take a few points. When you get the scooter, this is what I'm looking at, um, first things to do regardless if you're an experienced rider or not is familiarity. Where are all the controls? Obviously if you're a bike rider you know that the rear brake is on your left the front brake on a scooter is on your right same as the throttle on this particular model we've got emergency hazard lights I've got idling um, button so if I stop at traffic lights it, it cuts out the starter button main beam low beam or dip beam should I say the horn and indicator now the indicators on most mopeds or scooters are not self cancelling so that's something that catches quite a few people out so also when you're getting familiar with the controls of the bike one of the aspects to do is to get familiar with the display or instruments tell you where, how much petrol you've got how fast you're going um, on this particular model um, it's probably not so much when you're hiring a bike but this gives me uh, average per miles per gallon it gives me uh, miles as a taco um, I can set the mileage, I can record the mileage on four modes. There's various bits and pieces that um, 
that you can use on, on a bike such as this. It's quite a modern bike. And uh, if you're going to use it for some time, I would recommend that you get to know your bike. Like most things, when you come to, to rent a bike or you get a bike in uh, when you're on holiday, check for the obvious, check for the tyres. Um, have they got enough tread on them? Check the brakes, just take it down the road and just use the brakes. Does it do the lights work? Do the indicators work? Um, all the obvious things that uh, you should be looking at to make yourself safe. So uh, when you go to these hire um, companies to hire a bike, make sure your bike is legal. Um, I'm not going to go into the, the legalities of hiring a bike, but uh, they're the very simple checks you can do. Is there enough oil in the bike? Um, you'll be using it every day, most most of the day riding around if you're on holiday so you want to make sure that it's not going to seize up on you so just remembrance i use a powder check which is petrol oil water electrics and rubber so that tells me that the bike is in good condition if i look at each one of those aspects in in isolation sitting on the bike is completely different to um the bikes you may have at home. I'm um, gonna say I've got two bikes at home. One sports bike, extremely fast full sports bike, and a cruiser. Both bikes are completely different, and both bikes stance sitting is completely different. And the same with the scooter. When you sit on the scooter, you should be sitting on the scooter not too far forward and not too far backwards your arms shouldn't be stretched out straight they should be bent um, to give you control of the scooter so I so when you get on the bike ensure that your seating position is comfortable so that you can operate the, the steering easily. You shouldn't have your arms straight like this. Many beginners or guys that jump on a scooter have their arms off, they open the throttle and of course they go back and the, the bike goes away from them and they're just not in control of the bike. So you need to have your arms bent so that you've got flexibility and movement in your arms so that you can use the throttle quite easily so arms bent and it's sometimes even when you're on a motorbike if you feel yourself getting stressed out to, to come down and just move your arms it releases the stress so if your arms are bent your wrists are more or less straight so that you can twist the throttle you're holding the throttle not tightly um, it needs to be firm but loose uh, if that's possible imagine holding an egg or a bird um, something that's delicate that you hold but you've got grip off but you don't want it too hard you make sure that your fingers can touch the brakes you've got your rear brake on the left and the front brake on your right so you feel comfortable and of course always adjust your mirrors so that you can see behind you at all times when you're riding especially around um, Thailand it's always good to see what's behind you they come from all directions now the riding standard of anyone that holds a UK license I would say is far superior it's only in my opinion far superior than anyone in uh, Thailand I've done the Thai, the Thai driving course and uh, I've got my Thai license where well, I collect it next week um, but to do that was very easy very easily and it took me at least five minutes riding on uh, on a course not on the road so um, 
just make yourself aware of your bike or if regardless what make model it is familiarity with your bike is essential now when you're riding as well what you will want to be looking is straight in front of you look at the horizon as far as possible because you'll see more of the road looking away from you than you will looking down while you're sitting on the bike get yourself familiar with the controls where are they with your thumbs use your thumbs to feel where the controls are you're going to need them in traffic indicators horn not so much the starter but if you need to to indicate you need to indicate without looking so all the time you can do that you're safer because if you're driving along you want to indicate and you look down you're not looking at the road you're not looking where you're going and that's when accidents happen so um, familiarity of the bike although it may sound boring when you get your bike your new bike if it's on hire which predominantly is going to be in Thailand get yourself familiar with it just find somewhere a quiet road use half hour hour to get yourself used to the bike it will pay you dividends in the long run now when you get your bikes most bikes will have a side stand as this is on its side stand at the moment and this is the side that you should always mount a scooter from apply the rear brake to give it some stability step through sit down on the on the bike and maintain that rear brake take your side stand off and you're ready to go I will cover this on the next video starting the bike but the principle is if you come to a standstill and you put your side stand down you get off on that side if you get off the other side the bike could become unstable and it's got nowhere to go but to fall over on this side where the side of the stand is at least if you do let go of the bike it's going to fall onto the stand and become stable also with the center stand quite easily these are light bikes bring the center stand down just press bring it up onto the center center stand and there you have it as easy as that the very basics of motorcycling or getting a scooter hiring a scooter and getting getting used to it um, the next vlog I will uh, go into starting the scooter and giving you some principles or some pointers and tips of how to pull away safely and securely and uh, hope it helps you out when you come to Thailand to hire your scooter um, if you like the content please hit that subscribe button give me uh, a thumbs up and i'll see you a little bit further down the line but uh, until then safe safe riding and then i'll see you then